We the people. Our country was founded on the principle that we the people govern. I am at the Independence Mall enjoying the festivities of the 2016 Democratic National Convention. One of the hottest topics being discussed in this year's election is immigration reform. Seeing how individuals applying for citizenship must take a civics test, we are curious whether U.S.-born citizens could answer some of these standard questions asked on the naturalization test. I think it's a really good test. I think it's something that all of our citizens, you know, American-born, natural-born citizens should take. Um, and it's confounding that the immigrants who take the test and become naturalized citizens really know more about our country uh, than our natural born citizens. Let's see how those attending the 2016 DNC would fare out if they had to take the naturalization test. Let's test the judge's theory. Oh look, a perfect person to interview. First question is, who is the commander in chief of the military? General Washington. General George Washington. <laughs> Head on out. <laughs> the president. Oh, the president. Uh, currently, uh, the president, Barack Obama. I'm sorry, I thought you said who was. My time. Barack Hussein Obama. Interesting. Citizenship and the fact that they are a citizen and have responsibilities as well as rights is something that needs to be learned early on. The next question is, what are two responsibilities that all U.S. citizens have? Two responsibilities. Responsibility of free speech. Responsibility to live in freedom. And know the American pledge or something. If you see a crime, say something. <laughs> Not a lot. And, and, uh, Responsibility to vote. To vote and jury duty. They have a role in our government in a way that citizens of a lot of other countries don't. So I think it's important to educate people about that so that they do take their role as citizens seriously. The next question is, when was the Constitution written? Let's say 1800, I don't know. 1776. 1776? Uh, 1776. That was the Declaration of Independence. 18 something? I believe 1787. The mission of the Rendell Center is to educate the next generation of citizens, starting uh, at their earliest ages. What must all U.S. men do between the ages of 18 and 26 years old? To vote. Register to vote. Enlist for the military. I think they have to register for the military. The last and final question is a bonus question. What was the year Philadelphia last hosted the DNC? And I should know that. I should know that. I'm not sure. I don't think they ever hosted the DNC. 68. That's 1980? Early 1900s. I'm going to preface this with I don't believe that the U.S. should have borders. Um, I believe that anyone who wants to become a citizen of this country should be able to because I think that this test is ridiculous. <laughs>